Hello guys, I hope this angle works because I'm not changing it. Um, I just went to CrossFit, as you can probably tell how sweaty I am. Um, had one of my coaches that I haven't had in a while. She went on a trip for ages and Emily and I love her. She's the first coach we had. She took us through the fundamentals class so that um, we could learn how to do CrossFit properly so that we could join the classes fully. So we met her way back in May. <laughs> anyway, haven't had her in a while. Had her like once recently, didn't really speak to her at the class. And then today she goes to me, oh, Taylor, you've lost um, weight. And I said, yeah, a bit. And she's like, no, a load. She's got a Welsh accent, so it sounded funny. And I was like, yeah, oh, um, I've lost about 14 kilos since since I started. She's like, since you started. And she was like, well done, that's awesome. You look really good. And then um, I said, she asked me if it was just to train or if I was following a nutrition plan. I said, I'm eating about 1,500 calories a day. And she was like, oh, that's really good. And then I told her I used to weigh 126. And she was like, no way. <laughs> it was really nice of her to um, comment on it. So two of my CrossFit coaches now have like commented on my hard work of how much weight I've lost. It just feels nice to be recognized by the people that are inspiring some of the change within me. Like the two coaches that have mentioned it are my favorite coaches that we have at CrossFit. And they're both really lovely and motivating and positive and um, really helpful. And obviously that's their role anyway. But there are bad coaches out there and they're definitely not bad coaches they're great coaches um so it feels nice to be recognized by my peers and by people who are helping me in my fitness and health journey because it it's probably feels good for them to see that their clients are like changing their life she said especially like around my upper half because i'm wearing a singlet today and i don't normally wear a singlet to crossfit she's like i really leaned out so it just feels nice man it's it's really good to be recognized with stuff like that and it just makes me want to keep on keeping on and getting better and better I can't wait to you know shed the rest of my weight and just to work on building up muscle and stuff because I bloody love CrossFit so much it's probably one of the best things that's happened to me in a long long time um it's definitely I think one of the reasons why I've been able to be so consistent with my eating and with 75 hard is because I love CrossFit and I just want to get fitter and stronger and healthier. I'm looking so much better and so much stronger and fitter than I ever have, <coughs> ever have and it's because of CrossFit. wouldn't change it for the world and I'm so grateful. Um, I, I set my alarm for 10.30 today and I woke up and I really didn't feel like going and I was almost going to not go and now I'm really glad I did. And it sounds probably pretty vain because it sounds like I'm just happy that I'm getting compliments but I'm not. It's just that my hard work is being recognized and like i said it, it's attributed to them as well the people that are mentioning it my two coaches they played a big part in motivating me and inspiring me especially her because she has like my dream physique she's really strong for instance in the class just then we were doing pause front squats and two girls had were using like a 60 kilo bar they had like 40 kilos or sorry 45 kilos on it and it's a 15 kilo bar anyway one of the girls failed at the bottom of the movement had to drop the barbell and our coach just comes up and she cleans it. She just fucking cleans it off the floor and puts it back on the rack floor. It was like a CrossFit meme, pretty much. It was fucking good. I just love the community there. It's a it's a great community. And me, me and Emily, Emily and I, for the first long time of going there, debated how much it costs and all that sort of stuff. It's only 60 bucks a week for unlimited classes. And the sort of community that's there is just so phenomenal. And those two have played such a massive role in my like health and fitness journey this year in particular. I just am incredibly grateful and I love having moments of gratitude like this. It just makes me feel really warm and fuzzy inside. Now, but my CrossFit coaches are legends and I love them all. I watched back the clip I just filmed. I look bald. <laughs> my head's cut off, but I'm not going to refilm it. I normally refilm stuff like that, but it's just silly and vain. Um, so I just got home. Red first AF. I'm gonna probably have a quick shower and then might go and get breakfast somewhere just as a treat to myself to actually have breakfast out somewhere. Obviously it's probably just gonna be the usual smash shadow so it's countable and a part of 75 hard. I'm on day like 47 today. It feels surreal that it's coming to an end in like 28 days. Um, fucking changed my life, man. Thank you, Andy Frisella. Um, she's shaking so much. It's okay, baby. It's all right. Don't be scared of me, it's okay. It's alright. I've got to make an appointment for her soon to go to the vet. I know I keep saying that, but she needs medication. She's just so scared all the time. I feel so sorry for her. Um, anyway, before I go and do all that, I'm going to renew our parking permit and get the beach thing added so that we can go to the beach all the damn time. I can't wait. <laughs> it's pretty much bedtime. I just need to read 
the last of my pages and drink some more water. We went to an author's talk tonight, Heather Morris, and we got these books. And they got dedicated to us. She gave a really good speech about the hope that books create in people when they read them. Um, it wasn't really a speech, it was a talk, but I actually didn't work with her daughter and her son-in-law and they were there. I did not expect them to be there. So I always get really awkward in social settings like that. But I chatted to them and it was good. And I told her that I know them and she was really sweet and um, very nice. And it was good. I like going to things like that where you hear people talking about what they're passionate about. Really, really <coughs> important in life. Anyway, it's been a fantastic day. I forgot to say that I gained weight this week, like 600 grams, but I didn't gain weight. The thing was that last week when I weighed myself, I'd done the Spartan race the day before, so I was 100% depleted. So I'm not worried at all, because I'm going to keep on keeping on. We went out to dinner after as well, and I didn't order anything, of course. Um, and then I came home and had salmon instead. I'm so proud of my self-discipline, it's good. Um, anyway, oh, I've got steps to do still. Fuck! I'm going to get like five hours of sleep, but that's okay. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.